One of the first things I'd like to point out is how logically the app is um, laid out. At the top of the screen, um, we can clearly see the, the battery percentage and the Bluetooth signal strength, which at a glance gives us very, um, very important information. The battery is obviously critical to the watering of your garden. If the battery is low, it obviously needs to be replaced, otherwise your garden won't get watered. So to see this at a glance on the home screen of the app is, is really good. Moving over to the right, you can clearly see the seasonal adjustment. This is an aspect that we discussed in more detail in our previous video. Moving down, we can see a representative picture. This picture can be changed within the app and is a good identifier for the area that the bulb is located in. Either it can be a photo of the bulb box where Hunter node BT is located, or it could be a picture of the area that the node BT waters. Either way, it helps to identify the location of the node BT, which is a fantastic feature. Moving down, we can see the manual run operation, which we'll um, get straight into. Manual operation can either be done on the Hunter Node BT itself or it can be done from the app. I'm going to show you how to do both. To do the manual operation from the app, hit the run button, then select the station and then the duration. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to set it for, for 10 seconds. Once you've um, punched in your duration, you can hit the run button. First thing you'll notice on the hunter is the green LED and then the click of the valve as it, as it opens up. On the app, you will have seen it count down and then the red LED to indicate that it has stopped. To do a manual operation from the hunter BT itself, it is very simple. All you need to do is hit the arrow over here, you'll see the green LED, you'll hear the bulb click in, and on the app you'll see the run duration. Now the manual operation run duration can be set in the app. As a standard it is set to 30 minutes, but like I said that can be adjusted at a later stage so that if you are doing frequent manual operations it's set to your desired length. Um, it counts down and then after 30 minutes it will switch off. In this case we're going to manually switch it off by hitting the stop button over here and then you will see the red LED, the valve click off and then on the app you'll see the timer have, has stopped. To set the manual operation duration you need to navigate to the more section scroll down to the bottom and then look for manual runtime. Over here you can set it to whatever duration you like. In this case when I'm testing valves five minutes is usually enough so that that is usually my default manual operation. Then at the top hit save. Thank you for watching this video on how to operate your node BT manually. For more videos in this series, hit the subscribe button over there to get a notification when I've uploaded them. Thanks again for watching. I'm Jared. Until next time, see you then.